Less than 24 hours to go to the Shoreway Mark II Escort Challenge. Loads of massive names, big prizes. Someone's going to win a rally simulator. Um, absolutely insane lineup. Look at that. Jimmy Broadbent, I'm coming for you. Hey everyone, what is the crack? Tomorrow night is going to be the highlight of my sim racing career so far. Um, we are doing an amazing rally based event uh, run by digitalmotorsports.com. Uh, it's going to feature the likes of Craig Breen, James Dean, uh, Mika Salo, Jimmy Broadbent is going to be there, uh, John Armstrong, uh, Andreas Sutherland, uh, Jose Petro Fontes is going to be there. Uh, Keith Dempsey, who's arguably one of the best uh, sim racers in Ireland. Evan Walsh, uh, Charlie Eastwood is going to be there. Um, Connor Shanahan, uh, David Higgins, Josh Malin, Andrew Watson, Hayden Padden. I mean, like these are massive names. Like you know, you can probably see with a smile on my face uh, that it's going to be pretty insane, and it's cool to be a, a, a part of it. Um, I'm going to show you what the track is going to look like. So we're going to do one lap of Mondello. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what's expected of drivers and stuff like that. Everything that I know so far, it's a fixed setup race. Then we're going to go into uh, Drasgoze, the second stage, which is absolutely killer. And uh, yeah, let's get stuck into it. So here we are in Mondello Park. This is the home of Irish Motorsport. Those of you familiar with Mondello will know a lot of this layout. It uses the full international track with an infield section in the uh, paddocks, which we're going to go through as well. Um, drivers are going to um, spawn here, I guess, in the pit lane. Uh, they're going to be expected. So we're all going to be on Discord. So the, the race officials are going to be talking to us. Um, when uh, the car in front is is pulling out we're going to be expected to just go up on the ramp here stop for a second um, and then pull up to the line so the start finish line is just up here so we stop here and every two minutes cars will be released so uh when my time is uh when, when it's my time it'll be a countdown of five four three two one Now, obviously, I'm not going to be driving on the limit here, um, so please don't judge my driving, but uh, the Mark II is extremely tail happy. Uh, so you can probably see my throttle inputs, uh, the green bar on the uh, on the screen, so tight chicane there. Uh, the green bar on the screen just above the dashboard, that shows uh, what my pedal inputs are. So the red is obviously my brake, green is throttle. There's a clutch one there as well, but you don't need that. Another nasty little tire bale here. Second gear, and this is where we go towards the back section of the track. So back section of the track, nice and quick here. Lose lots of speed early and stay in and don't let it slide. Uh, exactly the opposite of what I just did. Uh, I'm, this isn't really a track guide because the people who I'm driving against are far far more um more talented than i am so i wouldn't insult their intelligence by uh, by trying to uh, make them aware of things on the track uh, this is really just a spectator's guide of what the what the race is going to be like so this is still this is all part of the run this is run like a rally stage so it's not lap based and i'll show you that as you probably saw we started in the pit lane up into fourth gear here this is a far quicker corner than you might think keep an eye on the pit lane on the right because the next time we come around here we're going in there and that's the kind of the crux of the difficulty of this um of this stage this is very much a rally stage so nice and slow through here did way too much steering there but uh down again towards i guess fanatec corner it'll be called for uh, for this race Fanatec branding around the place. By the way, anybody who uh, who wants to uh, buy Fanatec products, uh, check out my affiliate link in the in the description below. You should never miss an opportunity for a sale. Um, so here we go. We're coming back around to these bales. That corner. I mean, whoever put that corner here, I don't know should they they should either get a medal or get a 
punch in the face because I hate it but I love it um, don't even know the names of the corners here I'm such a such a poor motorsports fan so we're coming back around to the back section the tyre bales here hard on the brakes this car does have ABS the temptation to drift through here we must resist this is where I get given out to by marshals when I take my S13 to the track and the back kicked out I'm just trying to control it won't happen again so here we go this is the uh, the last little section so we're gonna go fork your corner now we're going into the pits here hard on the brakes down into first gear and really really tight corners here very bumpy and we need to stay inside these cones Ooh. not really inside the cones see me reaching for my hitch pattern and finish there we go that was a 354 um, if you want to be fast here you need to be another uh, at least 15 seconds faster than that so uh, I know I was chatting a lot there and stuff like that but that's not too far off my actual fastest time um, so uh, plenty of time to be gained <laughs> so there you have stage one it's uh, pretty nuts stage one is uh, but <laughs> And so on we go to stage two. Now stage two is a completely different beast. If you thought stage one was difficult, check this out. I'm gonna just uh, attack this. I'm not gonna attack it in full anger because I'll be here all night with the amount of different takes that I'll have to make. Uh, basically, we start on the, uh, we, we queue up on the ramp, pretty much. Uh, we just stop here for a sec. I'll just let this car behind me pass. There are people practicing on the server right now. This is the live server for the event tomorrow. Then we queue up to the line, so you see him uh, queuing up just ahead, and you get counted down over the headset. Um, and cars will be set off two minutes apart. So here we go. We'll start here now. This is, I mean, <laughs> this could blow your mind. Uh, it definitely blows my mind. I've done a good few laps here now, and I'm nowhere near the fastest people's pace, and we've got less than 24 hours to the actual race. So uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> So we're flat out through here pretty much slight lift really technical lots of tight little super bumpy sections if you guys keep an eye on uh, my steering inputs it's extremely extremely technical um, as you may also know we this is a set of Corsa so you don't get pace notes so uh, set of Corsa wasn't originally meant to be a rally game um, but due to a bit of uh, genius and uh, some real life input we now have a car which uh, apparently according to the pros resembles something that is uh, I guess worthy of, of being uh, classed as a simulation tool uh, if not a training tool at least um, so yeah lots and lots of technical corners you see I've got the track map up on the middle of the screen uh, it's probably going to help the people watching the stream to actually see where everyone what's going uh, what's going on so uh, this that might be of some benefit as well it might be a good idea for people who aren't familiar with a set of horsa to bring up that track map um, I I only really uh, look at it when I'm just not too sure uh, which is most of the time really <laughs> um, because there are so many like the, the bumps are the killer here the corners aren't ridiculously technical but the corners outside the bumps are are horrendous um, and if you if you see the pace that the I mean how they're real-life rally drivers right so they there's a lot they're putting a lot of uh, time and effort but passion into it and those guys think a different way to people like me I'm a software developer I sit at a computer all day my life is fairly mundane the most exciting thing that happens is I decide to go make a cup of tea and then these boys just live 
pace notes. They live the thrill. They're already three corners ahead with their steering inputs. And uh, although I understand a lot of what they do, it's just beyond me how they translate it so ridiculously well. Um, especially on a stage like this, it's completely nuts. Now, for those of you who are wondering why I'm not doing way more cutting, those uh, little bollards, those little friendly little bollards, some of them are knocked over and everything, they're not that friendly. They're rock hard, and if you hit them, you're goosed. You may as well hit a, uh, a Hinkelstein in Germany. Um, they are absolutely rock hard. Oof. Um, so yeah, really difficult to talk and uh, actually do the stage as well. Um, the this stage is around about the running time for it is about it's it's over five minutes. I don't know what the actual uh, what the pros are doing right now. Um, I'm actually not even too sure offhand what my fastest time is so far, but it's getting pretty competitive. A lot of the guys were on for many hours tonight, Ooh. and. Uh, they were uh, trying their best, but they were competing, and they were in, they are within seconds of each other. So, uh, obviously, as you saw in stage one, um, there are loads of places where you can uh, drop, but also loads of places where you can gain time. Um, and it is we get one run. There is no, there's no going back. Uh, you get one run at the stage, and if you don't perform on that one run. You're absolutely, you're, you're done. So uh, that's uh, kind of why I challenge my, myself to actually make this video as well. Firstly, I guess, because um, the people who will be watching tomorrow night understand what's at stake uh, well before the event. event. Um, but of course, uh, you'll also see how much time and effort these uh, drivers have put in, but the people who developed the mod as well. Um, and digitalmotorsports.com have been at this for around about six weeks now. So, uh, and, and an event like this, to the best of my knowledge, has never been done. Not on this scale anyway, not with these real drivers, um, people who, you know, really know what they're doing. And it's, it's a privilege to, you know, share, share a Discord channel with them, not to mind an actual track. So my, my main aim is just to finish the stage. I'd love to be uh, love to be fastest social media influencer. In other words, I'd like to beat Jimmy Broadbent. Because uh, my buddies all call me, well, the people I race with week in, week out, they all call me shit Jimmy. Ever since day one, since I started uh, with my channel about 10 months ago now, they, uh, they refer to me as shit Jimmy, which is funny. But I do want to prove that I'm not just shit Jimmy. Maybe Jimmy. Maybe Jimmy's a shit Lawrence. Ever think about that? That's it, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching this. I can't wait for tomorrow night. It's going to be absolutely mental. Make sure you tune in at 8 o'clock. The Digital Motorsports stream or my stream. Uh, I'm giving away prizes. They're giving away prizes. Real drivers. Absolute pandemonium. It's going to be... It's going to be amazing. It's going to be like nothing else. And hopefully the first of many, many... I mean, look at that. Craig Breen, Andrew Watson, Matthias, Keith Dempsey is one of the best sim racers in Ireland. Uh, John Armstrong, and you know that's just that's just a small list. Let's uh, go down here. Connor Shanahan, um, crazy names. So uh, thanks a million for watching, everyone. Um, I will chat to you all later.